Um, there have been, I have seen demons. I have seen demons as I see him. Okay. And uh, they're real. And because we live in such a, a very real spiritual world, um, and, and people are totally oblivious to it, but we are, it's very easy for someone to walk into a situation if they're open minded, if you're open to uh, outside forces, believe me, Satan will uh, take every opportunity to take advantage of that situation, and it's not the No, I imagine not. <laughs> What can people do to protect themselves from these types of occurrences if they're experiencing these currently or if they just want to avoid it in the future? Well, let me say, if you like the paranormal, it's going to be very hard to uh, close those gates of curiosity. The reason being is, if you're open to the supernatural, you're going to experience spiritual things. And unfortunately, a lot of them are going to be uh, very negative. Negative energies might seep in. Uh, you could uh, have a house haunting very easily as, as a result of inviting the elements into your home. What are some of the symptoms of possession that you've witnessed in well, either people or objects? Symptoms would be um, elevation. I think this person would be levitated. Uh, levitation where there's no reason why they should be uh, at that state. Speaking other unknown languages that they have never been taught, uh, tremendous super strength. That is the ability to throw a 250 man across the room with one arm. Wow. Um, I, uh, I performed a, a ritual um, a little while back, and um, I had three people hold this one uh, young lady who was naked 100 pounds. Three muscular men were holding her down, and uh, as a result, one of them um, had his nose broken. As a result, the arm loosened up, and uh, that person, that is, uh, well, that person was scared to death, ran out of the room. I bet, yeah. Okay, and, uh, and I was in the middle of the, the actual ritual, so it was hard for me to stop at the, at the middle, because that you know, could be fatal. Uh, and, um, but anyway, the, um, the woman, she, um, when she would, her highest peak would be the transformation of her um, of her physical self. Um, face would, would turn, uh, would change, discoloration around the face. Eyes would turn black, black as night. Um, the whites would, of the eyes the too, not just the pupils. Totally black. Wow. Um, also, um, tremendous uh, ability to tell exactly what that individual, or who that individual is, where he's been, his personal affairs, and so on. Um, in other words, the uh, ability of clairvoyance. Know things that, are, that she would possibly not know. Um, well, these are just some signs. Um, there's a, there's a, a physical manifestation that takes place outside the body, uh, where things are being um, lifted and moved. And what, what could a victim do to protect themselves? Well, the victim um, has has no choice. The victim is held hostage. The demon is is the is the person who's actually the terrorist. The, the demon is is inside the person. The person has no will, no ability, uh, but to yield to the demon. This is under full possession. Uh, as a result, though, that person is literally a slave, and and. and Basically, as time goes on, that person will uh, that person's will will be depleted to a point where uh, she wind up she can wind up committing suicide, and that's like you know that's the extreme, of course, but it does happen. And what about as far as a, a priest or someone trying to perform an exorcism? What do they do to ward off the demon? You said that one time some of them tried to follow you home. <laughs> that's uh, it, it happens. Um, when that happened, I, I have a, a clock on the wall. I noticed that the clock, the, like the arms of the clock started moving backwards, yeah. were turning backwards. Wow. Uh, and it wasn't daylight saving time? No. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, you would hear things in the house, and uh, which I had to immediately do a house watch. Okay. Because, uh, you know, normally uh, when a situation like this occurs, okay, there are some elements that have somehow seeped through that crack 
from the other side. And when that happens, you, you, you really must be prepared. The priest has to fast for at least three days and in prayer constantly. And it's believed that the priest has the power and the ability to cast out the demons by using the name of Christ. A uh, priest that had gone out to do an exorcism unprepared and became possessed themselves, where the entity would actually come out of the demon, would come out of the victim and uh, into the priest. And if the priest invites or feels sympathetic or feels a tremendous amount of empathy for the individual, um, he's in a lot of trouble. And unfortunately, most of us do. We all feel empathy.